guys, welcome back to the channel and today me and Blaze are going to be showing you the damage for from Hurricane Helene. We're going to be taking you all around on like um, a damage tour around the place and show all the damage that we've had. Even Blaze, he's going to tell you about how the storm was. Oh, it was awful. I went in the woods and a tree almost fell on me. This is one of our lower pastures and our lower pastures pretty much just got destroyed. There's just sand everywhere. We had the soccer field right here um, in this area right here. Like one of the goals was right, like right here. Miss Leslie would always park like at the soccer field when she came to ride and stuff. So there's a little little creek deep area in the creek that we called the pretty place and I would go swimming in there with blaze and stuff it was about right there under that fallen tree and yeah we would we would swim in there with the ponies we swam there with um, preparing for an all-day trail ride at DuPont Forest that's when we did it we also filmed it in um, riding Shetland ponies and Blaze's birthday party, and I think a couple others, I can't remember. But I swim in there a lot, like every week. The creek came, and then there was the pretty place, was deep, and then it turned, a 90 degree turn to that way, which is really, um, like, unusual, but it did, and it went straight that towards the mountain, and then it curved another 90 degree turn, and it went along the, and then it turned again. So this is like, it really like turned around this little place where my ring was, it literally turned around my ring. So my ring was like literally like on the peninsula basically. It stuck out probably about 100 feet. My ring was about about here, and it went all the way to about that, about right there, where that little brush pile. And my ring now, my ring now is right there. Go look at it. Yeah, we'll go look at it. Well, it's pretty much all over the place. We have some over there. We have some right there. I think we have some over there. So we've just switched sides of the creek, and here is where my ring is now. Most of the pieces we think we will be able to save. Um, a lot of them are just stay are just stayed straight like these right here, but then some over there are just like bent and brawn. I bet we'll be able to keep about half of it. We'll have to buy some more. Our plan is to build my ring right here, like this area right here. It'll be nice. I think we'll turn the creek a little bit more that way, and then it'll be like straight across. This is my old arena right here. I'm almost gonna have to walk around in this tiny little circle. You'll still have. If this is your old ring, this will still be your ring. You, it's going to be pretty much in the same spot, except you're going to have to cross a creek to get there. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about, not being able to save some of the panels. This one we might be able to save. It's not too bent. We could just like bend it a little bit. It's not too bent, but that one back there, it's just like not bent. Like the pools are bent, like the pools inside of it. Like if the whole thing is bent together, it's fine. We could probably save that. So yeah, I don't know what we're going to be doing for a ring. Because we plan to do a show next month, but I don't know if we're going to be doing that. I mean, not for practice, because I can still practice in, like, flat spots. There's a little flat pot spot over there, and I've been riding over there practicing for the show. Okay, so now we are on the way to the pool barn. The pool barn went out to about right where the concrete is now. So it is all the way right here. And the concrete just literally, because all the ground underneath it disappeared. Like this is a big hollow right here. And it just literally whooshed it all out. And the concrete fell. And then literally it's still a couple feet underneath the concrete. So if the hay was not there, the whole pool barn would have collapsed. Because one of these uh, play stand pools, like these uh, pool things, was holding up the pool barn, and like all the ground underneath it got swept out, and um, the hay held the roof up so that it didn't collapse. Okay, 
So now we're heading over to the fallen trees and everything. There's like a full flowing creek, like a river right here and like the water was coming up to here. I'm back right here. It's too deep right there. It's pretty deep right there, okay? This is where my mom had her greenhouse and it's, the water just took it out. I remember it was like, chest deep to me. Of course it didn't go in it, but I could just tell the measures, please. And yeah, it was just like really deep water and it was just like, the green, it was too much for the greenhouse, so just bonk. Came down, there's potholes in there. There's like a huge pothole under one of these fallen trees. This was all covered in water. If we had been in here, like if we were here, like we, Blaze would be underwater. No, his head would be up, but the water would be up to here. That's how literally how deep. Might have maybe even up to here. Yeah, it's about to up to here on Blaze. We're gonna head up to the trails to inspect that. But yeah, so this is all like flooded. It, like this whole area was just like a couple inches because it wasn't that bad. This area was a bit better. It was like, it didn't really get up there, but there, this is also a rushing river coming down to it. That's why it was so watery. It was just like a, rushing river like, and there were like cabbage plants floating in the water like way down the stream like a half a mile we found one of our peppers from our high tunnel and if you are wondering if i got a new horse trailer i did not get a new horse trailer i do wish i did but that's one of the what you call people Relief workers. The relief worker people. They've come in from out of town and they're helping the community. And yeah, I guess the only trailer they could use is a horse trailer, so. I mean, it works because you can lock up. This whole little area right here was just a rushing river again. And like this whole field, like half the field, this little field right here was like water pouring down. So this was all water. The pond was just overflowing. Yeah, but Papa and the boys, they got some hay over the ground. It needs to recover. Definitely, it's really, really bad. The pond is quite dirty. So yeah, we're gonna head up this hill to one of my trails I ha we have up there to look about how many trees are on them. This also right here was like a river again. There was just so many rivers all over the place. Some more divots. It's just all nasty. It's not like necessarily dirty, but it's just, I don't know, sad. Oh look, there's a log over there. I should jump it. I love jumping. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. Yeah. Wee. I'm gonna jump this one too. Anything that is jumpable, I will jump it. Good boy. Man, just look at this. There's tons of fallen trees and roots. See, so yeah, this is all trees falling across it, but the boys, they got their chainsaws and, and um, track loader and they went to work and cleared all the stuff away. <gasps> I'm gonna jump that log down there. Just look at it, Papa. Isn't it perfect? You might actually have to jump some logs on this trail. Well, it depends upon if they have brush on it or not. This one's a bit bigger, so it has to be a bit more serious. Do you think there's a bee's nest by this? Blaze was gonna jump and just walking up to it. I was just like, ah! Whew. Good boy! Here's another one right here. A fallen tree. Look, there's a bunch of fallen trees. I think it's more of a clearing right here. Just look at this one, and 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 that one, and that one. Oh, yeesh. Man, I guess that's the end of this trail wrap. I'll go back and jump that log again. Yes. Oh, the problem with riding in the woods is like, once I was cantering down the path we have down there, like the access road, 
and there's this thorn bush that comes out into the thing. Like there's like this one thing that comes out into the thing, and I was cantering like, I was cantering like, well, not with my hands, maybe, but I was like movement I don't know how to do it because everyone like when you're moving a horse you do like the reins but people don't really move their hands when a horse is going so I was you know cantering along and then all of a sudden this huge thorn thing flies into my face and it cuts my neck and there's pieces of thorn in my neck oh it was awful and it was terrible and I was and Blaze took off galloping and I was trying to slow down Blaze and trying to get the thorn out of my neck and it was all tragic and I could have died and uh, no I couldn't have oh dramatic it actually wasn't that bad I it just hurt a little bit it hurt for a couple days that's fine at least I didn't fall off it didn't swipe me good boy Elbows bent, heels down, and good boy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.